Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I've got another um, reckless journal quickie for you today. Um, let's have a look. So this one is the uh, cover this page in tape, create some kind of pattern. Um, I think when I did the previous book with this prompt, yeah, I kind of outlined some simple figures and sort of cut tape to fit them so I actually created a, a, a kind of picture with the tape. I've got a completely different kind of idea this time. Um, what I'm going to do is I've got this tape which is like um, it's a very matte finish. I think it's meant as a document tape so you can um, tape documents together and, and you can actually it's got like a matte finish so you can write onto it and also it, it I believe it doesn't show when you if, if you photocopied it. But anyway, that's not what I'm using it for. <laughs> so I'm going to take little pieces of it. I thought about doing a grid pattern, but I thought it might be a bit, I don't know, I might get bored with that. So I'm just going to take pieces of it and just um, randomly place them on the page. I might overlap some. I might uh, put them in different directions I don't know uh, yeah I've got it's a very I've got a very vague <laughs> vague idea about what I'm doing and then I'm going to um, use my Inktense pencils and I've picked out a whole rainbow of Inktense pencils here and I'm going to scribble over the whole thing and I think what will happen is that the, the Inktense pencils will behave differently. When I activate them with water they're going to behave differently where they're on the tape to where they're on the paper. So I'll, I'll scribble a whole rainbow of colour and then I will activate with water. And then I'll either leave the tape on or I'll let it dry and go over it again or I may peel the tape off. I think it would come off this paper reasonably easily. So I'm going to um, speed through and kind of cover this um, page with little bits of tape obviously taking care to leave some gaps in between and we'll see how we go it's a complete experiment um, I'll stop filming and I'll come back when I've covered the pages with with tape right I have covered my pages with little bits of tape it was really quite hard to see where they've gone you can sort of pick it up better on the camera than I can in real life in fact because the tape is so matte so it may be that I've covered up too much or not enough but uh, soon find out so now I'm just going to go through and scribble all these colours on um, so I'm going to start with the reds here and work down towards the violets here so I've got three shades of red to start with hot red poppy red and cherry so I'm going to start with the cherry because I think that would be the nearest to the violet hot red and poppy red and then into the oranges so I've got um, a tangerine and a cadmium orange and then into the yellows I've got golden yellow that will go nearest the orange and then a sun yellow and then this one which is going towards a more of a greenish tone to me and um, that's cadmium yellow then this sherbet lemon which is more green into the apple green there and then the green aquamarine which is quite blue probably that dark aquamarine first then the iris blue and then this lagoon then the deep indigo the violet the deep rose and the fuchsia which would go back up towards the red again um, so I might even just put a little bit of deep rose where's it gone up here just to start me off and then go into my cherry red so I'm gonna um, speed through that and uh, probably play you a bit of music <laughs> oh and I need to go and get some water then to activate my colours
okay that's my um a page covered in the rainbow colours now um, with ink tense pencils they don't look much until you activate them with water so I just need to go and get some water okay here we go and then depending on what happens I might let it dry and then go over the bits of tape again or I might try peeling some of the bits of tape off I quite like the way some of them are kind of showing now it has created a pattern especially up towards that corner I think I got my arm was, was getting really uh, painful and, and uh, I was getting tingly fingers by the end so I got a bit sketchy towards the bottom but never mind so if I'm careful and just go from follow the colours down through the rainbow I shouldn't contaminate the colours too much they should they should um, blend nicely into each other as we go because they're in rainbow order so I'm really so it's a bit like magic painting books when you're a kid and you do, you're not quite sure what happens you just put water on you're not quite sure what's going to happen until you put the paint on Ooh. now of course I doubt that is going to dry on those pieces of tape like that so uh, I probably will have to go through and do another layer but oh, I'm quite enjoying this though <laughs> it's like I was saying uh, um, I think it was yesterday when I was doing one of these yesterday um, it's the great the best thing about these kind of little prompt books they really make you play like a kid and you know play with all your supplies and see what you can do i need to go up on this side as well don't i you know i've never tried using intense pencils over document tape before <laughs> but i'm quite liking that i'm enjoying myself and um I might end up turning it, leaving this as a background, just putting some words on it, or just leaving it as a pattern. Or I might come back and have another look and decide I want to doodle on it and turn it into something else. Who knows? But yes, that is the idea with all of these kinds of prompts: is that it just uh, just kickstarts you, really. Let me just see what happens. Oh, that was fun <laughs> just making sure I don't I don't want to end up getting the green in the orange or something and uh, spoiling those lovely bright colours so I'm just gonna just blend that edge in there that's better have to be patient and let that dry now so if I put the heat on it will it make the tape come up it might do I'm curious to know if if I let this dry will the ink tent stay sat on the tape like that so I think I'm gonna to have to make myself wait usually once you've activated ink tents it then becomes permanent but whether it will then become permanent over that tape I don't know um, I also don't know how well the tape will lift off of this paper so it might look really nice to just peel the tape off and have the stark white underneath if it will come off you see I can't just leave it can I just leave it let it dry then have a fiddle okay <laughs> right I'm going to stop recording and um, just give this a few minutes to dry and then come back right this is dry now i did help it along a little bit towards the end with a hairdryer <laughs> just couldn't wait any longer um and i'm a bit of a quandary now because um i went over i just dipped my finger in a bit of water and went over and it although i love the patterns that it it's created on the tape here and if you just rub with your finger they don't move if it gets wet they do move now this bit here is where I've just wiped it over and the ink tents 
has just kind of stained the tape a little bit so it's kind of a pale pink and then with this bit I've peeled the tape off altogether so it's gone back to the white of the paper so I'm tempted to go through and do that um, I could also take off all of the tape or some of the tape and lay a colour over again so that way um, I guess the bits that were already coloured would get deeper and the bits that were white before wouldn't be quite as, as deep but they'd still have some of the I don't know I can't decide what to do now and in a way it seems a shame to lose all this lovely sort of texture on there yeah um hmm I just can't decide I simply can't decide I think what I'm gonna do is leave it like that for now and maybe come back to it um let me know what you think let me know what you think should I should I take this a step further should I try just wiping over it because I just <laughs> my instincts are going yeah yeah go on try it but then also I I don't want to well, I really like it just as it is <laughs> what do you think let me know and I'll do another I'll do a, I'll do a follow-up <laughs> and I'll maybe just uh, yeah I'll just sometimes if you're not sure it's best to just walk away from it for a little while and come back and if I just want to protect this and, and make sure that if it gets wet which likely it will do given other things I'm likely to do in this book um, I could just put some kind of protective coat on it and and uh, stop that happening I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it there and um, upload this walk away for a few days and maybe come back to it um, I hope you enjoyed watching that please do let me know if you've got any thoughts about what I should do next or should I leave it alone and um, I will see you again really soon